harmony of hands. Embracing difference, creating harmony. Hi there, uh, my name is Geraldine. Um, I'm a visual artist. And I believe that I am the possibly the only person in my family whom who I'm aware of that is left-handed. And um, one of my cousins might be ambidextral. Um, I'm not too sure. <laughs> I have to kind of speak to him and find out if that's the case. Um, my mother was right-handed. And I fortunately came from a generation who didn't really experience very much negativity around left-handedness. Um, my experience is more um, to do with the kind of inconvenience of, of, of having to adapt, to adjust. And um, an example of that is with writing. Um, in the English language, the, the written word is written from, from left to right across the page. And when you're writing with your right hand, as you're writing, you can see what you've just written. Um, so your writing is visible. When you're left-handed, your hand actually kind of pretty much covers your writing. And so you, you can only see the present letter and the projection of the next letter and so on. And it's the same with drawing. You can't, you're kind of, your hand is covering what you've just drawn. Um, I'm not, I've not really thought too much about how this affects drawing, particularly. Early in that, maybe um, it might make you more in the present moment. You can't really think too much what has gone past. And you're thinking of the present moment and actually what's going to come next. Um, yeah, that's kind of it really. And then... And then I like, in an idealistic way, I'd like to think that we're all ambidextral, naturally, but maybe if we live in a very logical kind of structured world or structured culture, maybe there is more focus on sort of the left brain and therefore kind of left brain thinking, right hand. <laughs> I'm not too sure if that's the case. Um, anyway, that's as much as I can say, share for now.